Here's how I made the coil for the telegraph sounder. I started with one of these pins that I picked up at the hardware store and I cut the top off just above the bottom of that little hole and I also cut it to the correct height ended up with something like this I filed the uh, top surface flat and then I also got these fiber washers at the uh, hardware store as well as this jam nut so I used the jam nut to position the washer on the bottom I drilled and tapped a hole also in the bottom to mount the iron core onto the telegraph sounder base and then the entire unit is threaded on to a stud that I put in the drill nice and tight okay now this is a cotton insulated magnet wire and I will slip this through one of the holes that I drilled in the base of the fiber washer and I'll wrap that around just to get it started and to keep the loose end out of the way okay now the key here is to keep even tension on this as you wind so I'm going to start slowly I want the turns to line up one next to the other I'll get a few started then I'll stop the drill and I'll go back and I'll let the turns relax just a little bit and that'll let me tuck them all down nice and tight and then we'll tighten them up again and I'll we'll fill this right out to the end and we'll pretty much automatically start to come back on itself and go the other way. And I'll just let this wind, keeping some tension on that wire. I'll bring the speed up a little bit now that it's uh, got a set. Oh, uh, see I got a little gap there. So we'll stop relax the tension on them a little bit, tuck them back into place okay if you miss you can just sort of stop and go back a little bit and keep it going and that's how you wind a coil sometimes when you stop it gets a little bit difficult to get it going again sometimes if you put your thumb right down on top you can get the coils to, to lay down uh, a little more easily and then you can get going again. Now, if you do have a little mess up, a little gap here and there, it's really not going to affect the performance of the coil and it's all going to be covered up with insulation anyways. So don't worry too much about it. But you do want to get a good dense packaging of wire onto the core. And that's how you do it.